Hello, and welcome back to The Witness. We narrowly avoided a stumble at the finish line last time. I could just barely squeeze together the solution for this one puzzle. So today, it's time to finally dive into the mountain and see what that contains. Though I've also been told that there are more environmental puzzles or something involving the uh, movie clips, like I assume the one hour thing or whatever, We'll see, I guess, when I get to those. Obviously, I need to unlock the movie clips first, but then we'll see when or if I actually get to watching that. Can't say I'm, like, super into the idea of watching something that is entirely unrelated in terms of, like, the production, even if, oh yeah, the theme ties into the game. Just watching, like, an hour-long thing that doesn't really have anything to do with the game. I think... I even saw that there were, like, multiple that were approaching the hour mark, like two of them or something. I don't know. Anyway, movie clips, not really important right now. I did notice some things about the, the mazes back at the castle, so I'll probably check that out. But, I mean, we'll do the mountain first and we'll see how much time we have left, or if any, maybe this will take multiple episodes. No clue. But yeah, some, some things there. I saw an environmental puzzle in the flowers and stuff. And I also worked out an alternate solution for the, uh, the harder castle laser puzzle. But anyway, all of that is kind of pointless. Let's just get into the mountain and see what this is all about, at least to begin with. And yeah, what is happening here? Are these this is just like a bunch of furniture? Desks and drawers and stuff like that. Is this like... Where Where is that? That is the lake, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, it's looking up at the mountain and it's the lake. Does that mean anything? Like, if we replicate this exact scene, like here's the, uh, the thing, the waterfall. Surely that's nothing, but it could be an idea. So maybe I should wait for it to be a little clear. And take a screenshot here, just just in case. I doubt we'll need to use that, but you know, we'll uh, maybe check it out at some point. Yeah, here's another one. Is that near the uh, shaded woods? Is that the container you go into? Or where is that? I'm not entirely sure about that. Oh, by the way, also, yeah, there are 11 lasers. I They're just kind of hard to count sometimes. There's, okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. One is, like, hidden a little bit. There's almost always at least one that's, like, bunched up like this, where you can't tell them apart at all and stuff like that. But, yeah, 11 lasers, not 10, 11. Oh, shit. I wonder, like, is this actually in real time? Are these cameras? If I had not done this? Or if I had, like, shifted this over? Hold on. Yeah, that's going to the left, and this is going to the right. So if I shifted this forward and then came back here, would that go forward, or would it still go here? I assume it's it's actually the uh, the way you set it. Like, it's in real time. Right? No, but this door is open, is uh, closed. And I have that open. So maybe not then. Because, yeah, I guess we can't see, like, any things. You know, like, flowers and stuff like that. Yeah, it's hard to tell. And, what's that? What is this? Is that like underneath the windmill? When you go down and underground? That is another thing, by the way, like... Maybe that has to do with a weird, like, red, green, blue puzzle in town? Because otherwise, I'm not sure how you get there, like, above the cinema, there's like a walkway, and... Uh, re uh, opposite the cinema, there's like a closed door that clearly has stuff, and... All that. I don't know, I, I really want to do stuff. Maybe it's something where, like, after you complete the cinema, after you get all six, maybe you can unlock the door 
opposite it. I don't know. We'll have to see. And yeah, this is just from uh, from the ocean, I suppose. This is like high up too, so it's kind of weird. Like, I don't think this is a screenshot you can do in game because it's so high up and far away. So never mind. And this one? Oh, well, I guess we got our answer. I cannot replicate these screenshots. Too bad, unless we get the power of flight. Do I see anything, like, interesting here? Ah. It's not a puzzle. Not here. That would be interesting if one of these had an environmental puzzle. Yeah, that bush is in the way. What is that, anyway? Huh. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's just kind of showing some of the things you've experienced getting here. I don't know. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. It's getting, like, ominous and foreboding. It's all like a Truman Show simulation? Or what? I don't know if I can do anything here. Oh my god. Yeah, it looks sort of like Portal or The Truman Show or something like that. Is this entire mountain man-made or is this facility just... Oh my god, we got puzzled. Well, guess it's not just a cinematic finish. Uh, but yeah, is like this facility just dug into the mountain or is the mountain fabricated around it or something? I don't know. But anyway, yeah. Does not seem like... Uh-huh. Oh boy. This is a reverse mirror? No, it's not. Yeah, I don't know how you can even do that if it's possible. Can't do it through the glass. And I, I can hardly even see. Maybe you can do something about that. But anyway, yeah, there's tons of puzzles, so... I don't know why I had the impression that the mountain... I don't know, I just felt like, oh... You, you will unlock all of the lasers and then go down the mountain and it's just gonna be like this cinematic finale symbolic thing. Nope. I guess we're, uh, we still have quite a ways to go it seems, so let's see what we can do here. Is that the quarry? Can't really tell. Yeah, alright, so what are we doing here? Just a normal puzzle? So, this is a four-tile one. Whoa! 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 What the hell? What does that do? Oh my god! Um... I mean, I can just do, like, this kind of thing, and then go down here, and now it's fine. Oh, and that creates the path we can walk on! Oh my god! Holy shit! Okay, this is cool. Wow. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, I definitely did not expect this. Hey, guy. You want that desk? And what is this? We haven't even been here, I don't think. I think this might be, like, underneath the jungle, perhaps? Because there is that door. I know I've been, like, putting that off a lot. We're we're gonna get to that. Oh, hey, log. I didn't even see that. Yeah, we'll get to that. Alright, let's listen to the log. This might be interesting. The relation between the controller and the controlled is reciprocal. The scientist in the laboratory studying the behavior of a pigeon designs contingencies and observes their effects. His apparatus exerts a conspicuous control on the pigeon, but we must not overlook the- Oh god, my brain. All those words just did not even register at all. Maybe I should just re-listen to it, but I might well, still not the understand this one. The Hold on. Hold pigeon. on. Okay, focus. Uh, 
focus. The relation between the controller and the controlled is reciprocal. The scientist in the laboratory studying the behavior of a pigeon designs contingencies and observes their effects. His apparatus exerts a conspicuous control on the pigeon, but we must not overlook the control exerted by the pigeon. The behavior of the pigeon has determined the design of the apparatus and the procedures in which it is used. Some such reciprocal control is characteristic of all science. As Francis Bacon put it, nature, to be commanded, must be obeyed. Mm-hmm, yeah. The scientist who designs a cyclotron is under the control of the particles he is studying. The behavior with which a parent controls his child, either aversively or through positive reinforcement, is shaped and maintained by the child's responses. A psychotherapist changes the behavior of his patient in ways which have been shaped and maintained by his success in changing that behavior. A government or religion prescribes and imposes sanctions selected by their effectiveness in controlling citizen or communicant. An employer induces his employees to work industriously and carefully with wage systems determined by their effects on behavior. The classroom practices of the teacher are shaped and maintained by the effects on his students. In a very real sense, then, the slave controls the slave driver, the child, the parent, the patient, the therapist, the citizen, the government, the communicant, the priest, the employee, the employer, and the student, the teacher. B.F. Skinner, 1971. Well, yes and no. I mean, for the most part, yeah, I agree. But, you know, control is a very loose term here. Like, the slave controls the slaver. Sure, but only in the sense that the slave's actions will cause something to happen in the slave owner. You know, like, there's a conscious thing there where I guess, like, at least things are... Not really in your control, but they are due to your control or something. I mean, yeah, kind of, but again, control is a, a weird word to use here, I feel. Because just because you can influence something doesn't necessarily mean that you can control it. But I guess there are, like, degrees of what control even means. Like, control doesn't necessarily have to mean full control over every aspect of that thing just like that you can influence or change it in some way and yeah in that sense it's true i i guess i understand that not really sure if there's more to read into that or what the hell it has to do with any of this i mean i guess there's like these are school desks and stuff so like teacher and stuff i don't know maybe maybe we're here because we're like the students of the mountain or the i don't even know yeah i'm not gonna really uh try to make any more sense of that I would like to get closer to this one if I could so I guess we need to also could I just continue going down no okay so we don't have a, a branching path here all right so like for example if I want to get over to this one, this puzzle, I could do this instead, and then... Hmm, maybe not. If I start by going here... If I start by going there, I'm pretty sure we're, like, already screwed, right? I mean, I, I can do something like this. Yeah, that actually works. Yeah, I'm not screwed. Uh, yes, I am screwed. Never mind. I think. Oh, can I solve this from here? Maybe I need to be one step to the left. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so this doesn't do anything. Alright, so... No, one step to the left is over here, so that doesn't work. Can you... Surely you have to be able to solve that puzzle, but it's hard to, like, be able to see the end. Yeah.
Oh boy, so I can solve it, but like, I can't see from here. I don't have good eyesight. This is... Man, I really wish this game had like a zoom functionality where if you right click when you're not doing anything, it would just like zoom in the screen. I mean, I guess I can do this for now. Just lower the FOV as much as possible. That helps a little bit, but not much really. Oh man, I don't want to do commentary like this. I can't even tell, like, this one is a 4 and this one is a 4, so we could make, we cannot make a plus shape. We have to, like, shift one over somewhere. Yeah, so, like, we can have the 4 be here and then this 4 be, like, there or something. But I don't know if I can do that. And then we know we have to pass through here. So let's say we do this kind of thing. I think that's already wrong. Instead do that maybe? This doesn't feel right either. Oh boy, do I even want to attempt to solve this one? Yeah, the thing is, this one cannot, like, we can't move the right one here. The horizontal Tetris piece cannot move anywhere, because the horizontal Tetris piece is the one reaching over to this one to join them up. So, like, the only way this could move anywhere is if this one moves to the right and, like, encompasses this part or something, but if it does that, then this one won't be included if the horizontal one moves, you know, like ver vertically. So the horizontal one has to go to the left here. Like we, I, I think that's true. The horizontal one has to be exactly here. There is no other way, but then the uh, vertical one can move around. Actually, I mean, the vertical one can't move much. In that case, the vertical one... Okay, no. The, the vertical one could be on the very right as well. If we shift over everything to the left and we make it like this and then have the vertical one uh, like up there and then go down here. That could work. That is a possibility. And I mean, maybe that's what you do, like the vertical one going down all the way to the bottom right. So... Like, we would do this kind of thing. And then up one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Wait, isn't this it? There? And then I finish. I think I have it there. I just need to, like, actually do that. So one second while I, like, lean forward as much as I fucking can! Let's see. There we go. That worked. Cool. Man, this one was kind of annoying. Just like visually, it's annoying to look at a puzzle like that. All right, let's get my uh, FOV back up. Holy crap. Ah, that's better. So what did that even do? It powered something. Can I, uh, let's get back inside the middle if I can. Yeah, I don't know what it would have powered. Maybe there's another puzzle now, like on the right side or something, or somewhere that we now have to solve in the middle. Anyway, what can I do here? Like, we can't start by going... No, we can start by going right. That is possible, but if we start by going left... Again, I could do something like... No, I would have to go all the way up here. 
Oh, but that's a problem now. Okay, hold on. We have to, like... Oh, boy. This is a mess. But, I mean, I, I guess that works. And at least I can, like, move somewhere now. We can do this puzzle, perhaps. But hold on, let me, like, follow this a little bit. Yeah, this is a pretty good path. Until this point, at least. Oh my god, no! No! God damn it. Oh, I'm not gonna like this room, am I? At least not these puzzles. They just seem kind of annoying. And, like, the entire thing about the puzzle is just that it's annoying to look at and hard to see. Especially if you can't... If you don't have, like, fucking hawk eyes. Yeah... Can't be too happy about that. And yeah, we're close to being at this point. Uh, maybe I should just focus on getting here. That's really the main thing I want to do, but... Holy shit! What the hell? Scan lines? Why scan lines? Oh, there was a dot there. Well, that's fine. What the hell? Oh my god. Uh... I mean, all I have to do is, like, exclude the white ones and then I'll be fine. But there's a black one here and a black one there, I'm pretty sure, so... We have to do something like this to exclude the white. I'm pretty sure now that's fine. Yeah, and like that. No! Oh, oh my god, dots! For fuck's sake! Um... So if I do the same thing I did... If I do the same thing I did, we need to include, like... Yeah, if I go up now, I, I can't do that. Wait, maybe, maybe if I do this kind of thing... And then it was here? There we go! Nice! Oh my god! Yeah! There seems to be a lot of, like... Just visual noise and uh, obscurity and stuff, and I, I don't really love puzzles like that. That are just like, it. they're not actually hard to figure out, they're just hard to even see. That I don't love. But, I don't know. I guess this is a 4.1. So... Yeah, there we go, that was easy. Oh, what are you doing? No! Stop! Oh my god. Oh, good lord. Yeah, I don't like this series of puzzles so far. Um... Okay, there are mandatory dots. Fair enough. Shit, there's a black one here. Yeah, I can't do that. I'm just gonna do that just so I can see where the dots are. Okay, so... Yeah, that doesn't work. How do you get this dot and then still encapsulate this one? Wait! Oh, I thought... Yeah, there is a, a dot there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you do that from the end. Like, we go this way and then not. Okay, that makes sense. So just focus on doing... This... And then this... And there we go. Yeah, okay, alright. They're not too bad. They're not too bad, they're just kind of annoying. Again, just like, to look at, not even to solve. Oh wait, uh... Ah, okay, mandatory dots. Are those bad? I don't feel like those are bad. Oh no, there's a white included now. Hold on, wait, just reverse it. Just this way? And wait, where was the, uh, the last... Do I have all the mandatory dots? I do! Yeah! 
And what does that do? We don't know. Maybe this will open and I can like go in here at some point. It's just I can't do it until I do both sides perhaps. Yeah, that seems to be it. And maybe even more. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I mean, there's one side done. And I was grumbling and complaining the entire way, but at least I did it. I guess we'll take a look at this one next time. But man, there were things outside of the mountain that I did want to do and show and stuff, but I guess that can wait. We'll uh, continue on here at least until I like run into a massive roadblock, I suppose. But yeah, this is very interesting. Interesting and visually fascinating, but I hope these are not the only puzzle mechanics we have here in the, in the mountain, just things being hard to see. We'll see. Or we won't. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!